what is up guys this is the classic dreamer here and today I'm going to be doing a plush review on a certain custom plush that not a lot of people seem to have on their for their collection on the internet and I might be the first person on YouTube to ever do a review on this custom plush and it's none other than lip from panel to pawn now most of you are probably wondering, well, what is Panel to Pawn? Well, to simply put, Panel to Pawn is a puzzle game that was developed by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. It was released for the Super Famicom back in 1995, and a year later, it got localized. But, however, Lip and her friends were replaced with characters from Yoshi's Island, and the game was renamed Tetris Attack, even though the game has literally nothing to do with Tetris. And for years now, the original Panel to Pond remained unreleased outside Japan. And it wasn't until May 2020 where the original game finally saw a worldwide release for the first time ever on the Switch Online in the SNES library. So, um... Yeah, you can now play the original Panel to Pun without using an emulator of some sort. Anyways, back to the plush. So, I got this plush back in May 2020 from an Etsy user named Best Gift For You. And if you guys want to get your own custom lip plush from them, I'll leave in the link in the description below. Now, let's get on to the main plush. Okay, now, first off, I want to mention how big she is compared to my other plushes I've got. I mean, seriously, look how tall she is. And, as a matter of fact, I would like to compare my other plushies to her. So, here is my All-Stars Toadette plush from Sine. And, here's the size compared to her. Yeah, Lip is very, very tall compared to Toadette here. Like, seriously, look how big she is compared to Toadette here. And I would like to also compare her to my Fan Game of Conquer plush, which I've also done an unboxing video with. Like, seriously, look at this, you guys. My Conquer plush is almost as tall as my lip plush. Like, seriously, look how tall they are. Like, seriously. I was not expecting these two plushes to be this tall when I was about to get them. Wow. These are really some tall plushes, I must say. Now, let's get on to the detail, shall we? Okay, so first off, they did a really good job with her face here. I think it looks really, really good. And her eyes look really nice. And so are her eyebrows too. And they did very well with her nose and her mouth also. And so as her cute little earlings and her cute elf ears. And her hair here, man, do I really love the hair. I think that it did a fantastic job with her hair. Like, seriously, look how detailed it looks. Even her ponytail looks really good as well. And so has her cute hair bow as well. I really love that. Here's her flower fairy dress which I also think they really did a good job also. And the flower on here looks really cute on her dress. And her pink skirt also looks really cute as well. And if you guys wondering, no, she does not wear any underwear under that skirt. So, yeah, I cannot show that, otherwise I would get demonetized, and I do not want that to happen. Anyways, here are her pink bracelets, which I also think they look really cool as well. And 
her flower wand, which you guys may recognize as an item in the Super Smash Bros. series known as Lipstick. And I think they really did a good job with her flower wand also. It looks really good. And here are her boots as well, which I also think they really did go a good job also. And the flowers on the boots look really, really cool on them. I really love it. Yeah. And that's all I like to say about this plush. It's definitely an amazing looking plush, and it's definitely one of my favorites I own in the collection. And, of course, as you guys may know, there isn't really any official lip plushes out there. And, as a matter of fact, Petals Upon itself really doesn't have a whole lot of merchandise. Or, hell, it doesn't really have any merchandise at all if I'm aware of. Which is pretty sad because Panel the Pond used to be one of Nintendo's most iconic IPs back then until it was easily forgotten recently. However, Lip and the series have made references in other Nintendo games where she appears as an NPC in Captain Rainbow and she also appears as an outfit in Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. And of course, she has been referenced multiple times in the series and she wouldn't make her official debut in the series until Ultimate where she is of course a spirit and a Mii Fighter costume. And fun fact, Lip was actually my most wanted fighter at the time for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And since she is now a Mii Fighter costume, my most wanted fighter now for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is Auro from Puyo Puyo. But I still support Slip in my heart. And I'm hoping that in a future Smash game, Lip will be fully playable in the future. And that is one of my biggest dreams to happen for Smash. And um... Yeah, that's all I pretty much like to say. Anyways, thanks for watching this plush review, guys. If you like this plush review, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for more future content on this channel. See you guys next time. Bye!